The KF-21 Borromei and the Khan represent two prominent contenders in the realm of advanced fighter aircraft development. Both aircraft are envisioned to play significant roles in their respective nation's air forces, offering cutting-edge capabilities and technologies tailored to modern combat environments. A detailed comparison between two cutting-edge fighter aircraft, showcasing a formidable presence in the skies and a key player in the evolving landscape of global military aviation. The KF-21 Borromei is a fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft, developed by the Korea Aerospace Industries. In April 2021, the inaugural prototype of the KF-21 Borromei was successfully finalized and revealed to the public. Subsequently, on the 19th of July 2022, the aircraft underwent its maiden test flight, marking a crucial milestone in its development. The commencement of manufacturing is slated for the year 2026. The Taycan represents a stealthy, twin-engine, all-weather air superiority fighter under development by Turkish Aerospace Industries. Following successful ground tests conducted on March 16, 2023, the prototype was ceremoniously unveiled just two days later. On February 21, 2024, the inaugural flight of Khan took place. Tai released a video showcasing a Khan fighter jet ascending into the sky and subsequently landing back at the Murdered Airfield Command, located in northern Ankara. The KF-21 Borromei and the Khan, both being fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft, showcase remarkable advancements in aerospace technology. Beginning with their dimensions, the KF-21 boasts a length of 16.9 meters, whereas the Khan is slightly larger, with a length of 21 meters. The KF-21 has a wingspan of 11.2 meters and a height of 4.7 meters. On the other hand, the Khan measures slightly larger wingspan of 14 meters and a height of 6 meters. In terms of payload and operational flexibility, the KF-21 offers a maximum takeoff weight of 25,600 kg. Conversely, the Khan boasts a slightly higher maximum takeoff weight of 27,215 kg, potentially allowing for increased armament and fuel carriage. This could translate to extended mission durations or enhanced combat capabilities depending on operational requirements. The KF-21 is equipped with two General Electric F-414 GE 400K turbofans, capable of generating 57.8 kN of thrust. In comparison, the Khan utilizes two General Electric F-110 GE 129 turbofans, producing 76.31 kN of thrust, potentially providing slightly higher performance capabilities. Regarding performance, both aircraft demonstrate impressive capabilities. The KF-21 achieves a maximum speed of Mach 1.81, while the TFX closely matches this with a maximum speed of Mach 1.8. The KF-21 boasts an impressive service ceiling of 64,961 feet, surpassing the Khan service ceiling of 55,000 feet. This makes the KF-21 capable of operating at higher altitudes, potentially offering advantages in various mission scenarios. KF-21 is equipped with state-of-the-art features such as an AESA radar, advanced avionics and precision weaponry. Boasting 10 hardpoints for weapons deployment, high maneuverability, enhanced survivability, and a configuration with single tandem aircraft seats, the KF-21 ensures high operational efficiency in diverse mission scenarios. Anticipated to integrate cutting-edge technologies, including a next-generation AESA radar system, sophisticated communication systems, and superior electronic warfare capabilities, and air-to-air -air missiles, the Khan heralds a new era in Turkish military aviation. Advanced stealth features, such as radar-absorbing materials and state-of-the-art coatings, contribute to its reduced radar cross-section, enhancing its survivability in contested environments. 
Pai, the lead contractor for the Khan 5th Generation Fighter Jet Development Program, plans to supply 20 Khan Block 10 fighter jets to the Turkish Air Force by 2028 after trials conclude in March. With an eye towards the future, the second prototype, which will cover the full flight envelope and serve as a closer approximation to the intended production aircraft, is slated for takeoff in 2025.